Hey guys, we are about ready to head to Florida. Charlie's back my boat in here. We're gonna come back here in a week uh, to pick it up. I'm gonna go down and get everything set up down there in Florida. And uh, we're gonna be heading out here in a few minutes. It's starting to warm up though. We can't wait to get down to Florida though. It's this cold weather here. Hey guys, we have got the RV hooked up. We're going south. We're heading to Okeechobee right now. Oh, probably drive most of the way today and drive a little bit tomorrow. But uh, looking forward to getting down there at Clueston. Going to be guiding down there for Roland Martins. His winter down there. Going to be down there all winter. Uh, all winter for four months, at least through the uh, end of March. But guys, I'm telling you what, they've already been catching some really good down there. I'm excited to go there. Catch me some of them big Okeechobee bass. And uh, we're doing some shiner fishing, some artificial fishing. Probably some good flipping and good topwater fishing down there. But hey, guys. We're going to kind of keep you uh, informed as our trip goes, but we're just now kind of outside of Dayton, and it uh, won't be long until we get on 75 up here going through Chattanooga, but we'll shout back at you, you guys. Catch you later on, and uh, y'all stay safe today. Chickamauga, but they got it low. They got it low. Pretty much close to winter pool, you guys. If you come down here doing any fishing down here, just be careful on that water because uh, even on that main lake, I'm telling you, you can be in 20 foot of water in two, two, three feet. And you can be in dang on one foot of water or even less. So uh, you guys that's coming down here to fish over the winter time, you're going out on your own. Uh, just stay in those buoys and don't, you know, don't take chances on it, you know. If you're not for sure, at least I ought to win there, and that way you know you can run out or not, okay? So uh, just be safe out here. A lot of good fishing there, you know, Chickamauga in the wintertime. I know a lot of you is going to be coming down here. and uh, But like I say, the water's low. Tennessee River, you got to be safe, guys. Keep on driving. And there you go, guys. Got the tailwater here on Chickamauga Dam. Good smallmouth fishing down there, you guys. There's up above the dam. We're getting close to landing, guys. Hit some traffic. Hoping being Saturday we wouldn't uh, get none of this, but there's been a couple little accidents, I believe. And uh, so far, we've been able to move through them without really getting stuck. So, got my fingers crossed. Hopefully, we can keep cruising through here, you know, on the other side of Atlanta, and uh, keep heading to Florida. We've got all the roads on the GPS. All right, guys, we finally got stopped, got some gas. We are probably about 40 miles past Atlanta. Still kind of cool out here, but we've got gas. What'd you get, Donna? Pizza. You got you some pizza? A good deal. You gonna make me a sandwich? Let's I'll... get going. All right, guys, we're gonna keep cooking. So cold. What you got? This what I got. Oh, hell. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks so good. Let's see that. What? This like oh, there you go. That looks good. Hold it there. All right, everybody. Who likes pepperoni pizza? 
other than Dinah. Here we are, guys, Florida State Line. They welcome us. This is where we're probably gonna spend the night. Just so we can make sure we got a place to get this RV parked. And uh, eat us a sandwich, brought an iPad. We may back there and watch a movie or something on Netflix. Get up early in the morning and head on down to Okeechobee. But uh, we're gonna pull in here. All right, guys, we're inside the RV here. It's a little bit chilly, honestly, still. I'm surprised. But uh, this is going to be dinner night. Got me a big old ham sandwich, a little Miracle Whip and tomato. And I guess you're going to fix you one too, ain't you, babe? Yeah, I will. All right, good deal. But we're going to eat. And uh, then we're probably going to crawl back there and watch some Netflix or something. Get to uh, bed early. Uh, get a good night's sleep. Get up early. Look like we're going to have some rain in the morning. And we're gonna finish our journey, journey, get on down there to Clueston, there at Roland Martins, and um, get things set up, get ready for our guiding season. But anyways, uh, chow time right now, you guys. Y'all have a good, good afternoon, and we'll catch you in the morning. All right, guys, we got some coffee. Got a good night's sleep, even though it's chilly when we went to sleep, but I think it actually warmed up some because the uh, rain moved in. But anyhow, we're going down the road, it's still dark. Look like it's about 5.30. And uh, stop and get some fuel as soon as we see the truck stop. Bad thing about pulling this RV is you got to go where their truck stop because you ain't gonna get in most places. But uh, this road, we're ready to get down there first. All All right, guys, we made it down here to Okeechobee City, and uh, we got probably about 35, 40 minutes and we get down to Clueston. We get down there, we're gonna get the RV all set up, and uh, then we have to go back and get our boat after Thanksgiving since everything, we're gonna wait until after Thanksgiving. But uh, we'll be there shortly, guys. Guys, we uh, finally made it down to Okeechobee. This is the clue and boat ramp right here, which I know they got the locks and stuff closed. But we got down here yesterday, uh, and as soon as we got down here on the other end of the lake, it started raining, and we got down here to and it was pouring. It was a lot of fun setting up the RV in the rain and all that kind of stuff. So we didn't get to film and everything then. Time got everything set up, got dried off and all that kind of stuff. We was ready to get something to eat and take a good hot shower and uh, get some sleep. But we've been out running around a little bit today. I've already been by the marina over there and uh, just drove down here to the lake to check it out and boat ramps and stuff. But uh, excited to go back and get my boat here at the end of the week and come back up here and start fishing. You guys, we love it down here. It's a great place to be in the wintertime. Anyways, uh, uh, you know, if you're looking to book a trip, y'all, we'll be down here to the end of March and it's good fishing all the way through. Uh, just give me a shout. My contact information will be on here. And uh, looking forward to seeing you guys. All right, come check us out here at Roland Martin Marina, you guys. Thanks.